Right, so we've now got our headstock fine sanded. I've put in some inlay work, uh, very similar procedure as you saw me do earlier with the fret markers. Uh, I've stamped on my logo and also I've drawn out the grain just a bit with a, with a blowtorch and I want to show you some of that procedure a bit later when we get back to the body. But for now, for the rest of the video, I want to turn our attention to the back of the neck and we're going to start doing some carve work together. Okay, so on this particular neck, I'm going to make the thickness roughly 23 millimeters near the heel of the, of the neck and then down to 20 millimeters near the nut. And obviously it will gradually get thicker up to 23 up the neck. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole neck down to 24 mil, so it's somewhere in the region and then we can go from there. So this is just one of the ways you can do this. You can take two pieces of wood of equal thickness like so. Uh, these are going to act as our router guides. So the router is going to be sliding up and down. Um, obviously the neck's going to be sitting in the middle. Make sure it's clamped down so it won't start moving around when you start milling it. Uh, obviously likewise with the guides, make sure they're clamped down too. Um, so as I said before, we're just going to reduce the thickness down to around 24 mil thick and we'll go from there. So we've now got the neck down to 24mm thick, uh, I've just swapped router bits, I've just put a round over router bit in now and what this is going to do, this is just going to take the sharp edges off and push us on that bit quicker when we start carving. Okay, so now we can actually start doing some hand carving on the neck. Um, the tools that I'm going to be using are a spoke shave, uh, a selection of rasps and files, and some smaller needle files. Um, what we need to do first is I will always draw a centre line uh, straight down the middle of the back of the neck as a reference. Um, some people will actually draw facet lines and go towards those lines and then gradually round them over but um, I've kind of not done that for a while now now I've got a feel for what I want so I'll just literally go along and uh, feel my way through it so let's begin
it's always good to keep checking the depth and thickness of the neck although I've not actually touched much on the actual center line yet just uh, always be mindful so there's still quite a bit to take off but I'm, at the moment I'm more taking the shoulders off reducing the material on the sides and just gradually getting that round over it's getting there quite quick though actually
Okay, so as far as shaping, that's almost it. We're down, I've sanded down to about 120 grit at the moment. And we're still gonna go all the way to 600 grit. But before we do that, we are gonna install the side inlay dots. And then after we've done that, then we'll work all the way through the grits up to 600. But yeah, it's, it's coming along. <laughs> 